Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2022 Ram 3500. This particular one has the six cylinder Cummins turbo diesel engine. Absolutely beautiful looking truck. This is the limited trim. So this is the top of the line trim you can get for the Ram 3500. Starting off up front, your full LED headlight, LED C-channel accent, and then incandescent turn signal. Beautiful brushed looking grill. This guy does have the 360 degree camera system, so your front facing camera is gonna be right here. Front parking sensors and cross path detection sensors as well. Full LED fog light, chrome tow recovery hooks. Uh, these lights also move up to 15 degrees in the direction of travel of your turn, which is pretty sweet. Color matched fender flares, chrome 3500 heavy duty badging. Here's your Cummins turbo diesel badge, 20 inch uh, chrome and brushed wheel on some uh, Firestone Transforce ATs, and that's a 285 60 20. Splash guards, power deployable running boards that are cab length. Got your RAM and your limited badging. Chrome mirror cap, camera, blind spot monitoring, cargo lamp, or this turns on with your cargo lamp. I believe these are spotter lights. Uh, something I noticed about these trucks is the new kind of passive entry system on the door handles. The one I have is more of just like a pill shape. This actually looks like it is from the current fifth generation 1500 style truck. Here's the drop down running boards. Plastic applique pieces to protect against rock chips and then paint damage. Full LED tail light with blind spot monitor right here. Parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. I believe this is a uh, cargo camera plug. This is your seven pin connector as well as a 12 amp trailer connector right there. Your four x four and your limited badge are gonna be right here. Chrome Ram logo as well as your backup camera right here. Beautiful, beautiful LED tail lights. Diesel and Duff fill ports cargo camera, third brake light, and video camera for the rear view mirror. Something else I noticed too, um, they actually got rid of that matte black vinyl that usually goes up to about here. They got rid of that, so now it's all just a nice glossy paint. Overall, I love the Limited. Uh, you guys should know by now that I'm definitely biased when it comes to Ram. Well, as biased as you can be, I like all trucks, but I, I bought a Ram for a reason. This truck is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a closer look at the interior. I'm gonna try and let as much natural light in here as I can because it is kind of dark in the auto show. Um, starting off on the left hand side, we have this really nice soft leather and real wood trim with this black chrome accent. It's absolutely beautiful. I think Ram actually has the most leather in their interiors than any other uh, truck manufacturer out there. It's really, really nice. It's all very nice and soft and it just screams luxury. Got your lock and unlock button, all of your window controls, your mirror controls, including your power folding trailer tow mirrors, as well as your power adjustable spotter mirror. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Dimmer switch for the instrument cluster and ambient lighting. Up top to the instrument cluster, we have a exclusive limited trim style gauge cluster with blue accent LED lighting. Tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right. Beautiful LCD display in the middle. All of these different corners can be um, programmed to monitor a different parameter, which is pretty cool. Again, 95% of the dashboard is that nice soft leather. The stitching is really nice as well. Real wood grain on the steering wheel black chrome trim pieces with your black RAM logo. All the control uh, buttons for the center LCD display are gonna be right here. You got your VR button and your um, phone button. Over here we have your uh, adaptive cruise control and then your um, 
gap adjustment as well as the regular cruise control buttons and then under that you have your gear limiter this guy does have a push button start standard stock uh, column shifter I think all trucks should have these I, I don't really like the rotary dials or the uh, you know center gear shift premium Harman Kardon 17 speaker audio system storage tray right here 12 volt outlet real wood trim again throughout lane keep assist button hazard light button and then your traction control off button this is the new Uconnect I believe it's the Uconnect 5 wireless CarPlay wireless Android Auto very responsive um, I wish I could update my current 2020 Uconnect to be this RAM or if someone from RAM is listening please 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 offer some sort of software update um, I guarantee you people like me would even pay to get something like this done uh, or just have it be over the air RAM please do that all the physical HVAC buttons are going to be on the sides of the 12 inch touchscreen display you got heated and ventilated seats controlled through the touchscreen display the vehicle's not on right now so none of this will work you also control your heated steering wheel from there as well push button transfer case right here integrated trailer brake control this being a diesel it is going to have an exhaust brake tow haul mode parking sensors for the rear and front on off they are on by default two USBs, two USB-Cs, an auxiliary jack, and then a storage tray. If that'll focus, sorry about that. Under the storage tray, you have a wireless charging mat, which brings us to the configurable center console. Push that, giving us access to two cup holders. Push that, and that gives us access to some change storage. This has three positions. It is in the furthest forward right now. Then we have the second, which offers us only access to the drinks and limited access to the storage bin and then the third only gives us access to the storage bin I don't know how well it's going to come through on camera but right down here we have a 120 volt 150 watt power outlet coming back to the center armrest again very soft leather attention to detail in the stitching limited uh, is spelt out right here and I believe it's some sort of like placard it's not just um, stamped into the leather lift up on it giving us access to a felt lined storage compartment with a USB-C or USB I should say and a cutout for cord management lift up on this giving us access to the rear portion of the storage compartment if you look closely a little Easter egg they have the four previous generation of Ram trucks on this little divider right here on the back of this we have a little bit of uh, some mathematical help for people out there trigonomic ratios standard to metric conversion and fraction to decimal conversion also if you are using this as a work truck all of the trucks regardless of trim that come with this center console have a file folder storage system there's one pin right here one little tray and there's another tray right here so you can fit up to I think 15 or 20 different file folders right there and keep them all nice and organized really nice leather seats in this vehicle this guy does have two glove boxes first one's gonna be right here again real wood push the button it is LED lit and it is felt lined nice leather continues again to the massive felt lined glove box coming up top it is incandescent lit vanity for passenger as well as your driver your driver vanity has a three-door universal garage remote all of your LED dome map light controls are here, as well as your tailgate release button, sunroof controls, and power sliding rear window control, although it is not working right now because the truck is not under power. We have the rear view mirror that doubles as a video camera, which seems pretty standard in the uh, automotive market nowadays. Um, overall, I love, love, love this truck. That is why I got a ram heavy duty uh they just have been knocking it out of the park lately i love the luxury i love the bang for your buck just everything about this truck is awesome love it let's take a look at the back seats and see how much leg room we have so you do get tons of storage in this truck we have the underfloor uh, storage bins that is on both driver and passenger side you can put 
whatever sort of beverages you'd like in there. I won't tell anybody. Under seat storage, once you move this little uh, level right here, this no, it's not a level, it makes the floor level because there is a little bit of a transmission hump. So if you need to put some TVs or something in here, you don't have to worry about them doing the teeter-totter. Once you put these out, you do have under storage as well too to keep more stuff hidden. The seats do have little LED lights on them, which makes getting in and out at night very easy. With the drop down running boards and the grab handle, getting in is a breeze. Now these heavy duty trucks do not currently, or do not yet, share the same cab as its little brother 1500 counterpart. So these cabs are technically built on the fourth gen platform. So the legroom isn't all that great. I get maybe two inches, three inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. You do get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders, again, beautiful wood trim. Storage cubby right here. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, heated seats, 115 volt, 150 or 400 watt power outlet it looks like, I misspoke. Two cup holders in the floor, I don't know if those are coming through on camera. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And then you do get your LED dome map light up top. Absolutely beautiful looking truck. So there's a couple ways to open the tailgate on this truck. The first way is with the key fob, which I don't have. Second way is with the button, by the SOS button on the headliner. And then the third way is to come up to it, push the button, and it will automatically drop down for you. This guy does have a spray and bed liner from the factory. It looks like it also has four tie down points, one in each of the four corners. And this does have the fifth wheel gooseneck prep package. There's all of your uh, plugs for the trailer as well as another power outlet and then your LED bed lighting which is not currently on. Soft fold trifold tonneau cover. Very very nice. I think Ram did an amazing job with this 2022 truck. Uh, not much has changed except the packages really. Uh, if you're looking for a big change unfortunately 2022 is not the model year. I know a lot of guys are waiting for the heavy duties to share the same cab as the 5th gen 1500s and some guys are waiting for a possible rumored 9 speed Allenson transmission which would be a huge game breaker uh, for this heavy duty truck segment. Not only would you have the most reliable engine in the segment, uh, an inline 6, very great love the Cummins engine. You'd also have a top transmission manufacturer behind your brand. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It does greatly help with the YouTube algorithm. If you are interested in more Chicago Auto Show content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.